how to resize your document images so they can always print correctly. Here, when you have uh, the, the documents images, I'm gonna extract one here, this one. If the image does not have borders, so I'm gonna open this and show it. In this case, it may have enough borders to, of a page, but sometimes the image is in full. The image, first of all, you shouldn't spend so much money in ink, etc., etc. So, um, a maximum of five inches in the horizontal is enough, more than enough. So, we're going to learn how to um, reduce the size. This one is, is bigger than, than five, okay? So, first, what we're gonna do is to use a program named XN Convert, which is free and you can download from the internet. Um, the, um, the link is a little bit long, but at the same time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the link here for a second. So you can copy if you want. HTTPS column forward slash forward slash XN convert dot EN soft uh, soft uh, onic dot com forward slash download. So this is the the URL to download it uh, for free. But the way it works is extremely simple. I'm gonna add a file. You can even add a folder in case that you want to to do many images at the same time. So it has uh, really, really hundreds of features, but uh, we're only interested at this moment on this one. So I'm gonna grab the same, right? And now I'm gonna try to do an action. So an action, in this case, we have the before and after. And this is because I already have selected this with the width mode and, and the mode in width and the width five inches. So this is the width, right? Five inches and you can see, you know, before and after. Okay, that, that's all. You can do gamma correction, not important for this uh, purpose. So you're gonna click convert We're gonna say yes because uh, I did it before, right? So it's actually overwrote the file that I had before, which is perfectly right. And then, obviously I didn't have to put it here. I, I put it here to show you, I mean, not here, but here. I put it here to show you, but the truth is that you only needed to uh, put it inside the XN convert. So now I'm gonna pull this again, and I'm gonna pick driver's license result, okay? Obviously you can rename it, have a different name for that. I'm gonna import it, okay? So I'm gonna see it again, and I hope that you notice that it's smaller than before. And this is more than enough to be printed. Okay, so that is important. I suggest that you do it with all of the images that you receive. And actually, even though a PDF is possible to work, but if in the PDF you don't have margins, the correct margins uh, of one inch around, it won't print. So you have a problem. So it's better to have just images that don't have the problem and then reduce them at five inches to save ink to make easy printing and also you could depending on your abilities uh, with computers you could even put two or three documents in one page and in that case uh, you're saving even more you're saving pages and and letter weight etc so you know that you need to click here 
to uh, be able to print automatically when you are printing the disputes right so if right now I print these disputes for example and uh, I'm gonna click print uh, mark disputes it will collate add indeed actually put it here in my other screen but I'm gonna open it for you from here and show it to you in a second because it, it's saved in this case because it's a it's a letter so okay so this is uh, the letter and this is uh, you see that now we have enough space around and this is the other one and it's collated and it's perfect very sharp uh, you don't need more than five inches ever so that's all i hope that you're going to enjoy this uh, free software thank you